Yes, Nicole, things are nice right now. Definitely a comfortable start to your Thursday, but oh boy, we are going to heat up and you're going to be able to feel that because dew points are on their upward trend right now as well. It's comfy out there now, but as we get into the afternoon, more so tomorrow and over the weekend, dew points are really going to climb and it is going to feel very humid and muggy out there. 56 is the current temperature right now at the airport, 52 in Paris, 60 in Mattoon, 57 in Effingham, 50 in both Robinson, and then 60 degrees down in Vin since all the storms, rain, thick clouds are off to our west, kind of north of the Kansas City area right now. We're not really going to see any of that. Maybe some cloud cover coverage come through later in the day, mainly overnight and early tomorrow morning. That's when we're going to turn partly cloudy, but enjoy the sunshine today. Cooler temperatures still going to approach the 90s today, but definitely cooler today compared to how tomorrow is going to be for your Friday. All the rain and storms are kind of going to pass just northeast of the valley, kind of near the Fort Wayne area early tomorrow morning. That, that was about 9 in the morning, but then as we get through the afternoon hours, between about 1 and 3, the potential for seeing some severe storms is there, strong to severe storms. And then as we get to about 7, 9 p.m., that's when the area or for across the Wabash Valley, that's when we could see the most potential for seeing some severe to strong storms as well. Most of the numbers look better just east, northeast of the valley, kind of near the Indianapolis area and even northeast of that area. But storms are going to continue some rain as well over the overnight hours. The biggest Thing for us to look out for across the valley, obviously going to be the potentially damaging winds, weaker tornadoes, smaller hail, and then the heavy rain as well. Right now for the day one outlook put out by the Storm Prediction Center, this is for 7 a.m. Thursday through 7 a.m. Friday. The Champaign kind of Danville area, so our very far northwestern counties, are included in a low level marginal risk. But then we got to pay attention to the day two outlook. This is for 7 a.m. tomorrow through 7 a.m. on Saturday. The Storm Prediction Center did upgrade some of our counties, so about Vermilion County, Clay County, Park County, and Vigo County. Those are all included in the enhanced risk, so numerous severe storms are possible in this area. Again, the better numbers are looking north, northeast of the valley. But they're not completely gone out of our area. They're definitely there. Some of the parameters needed for severe thunderstorms and weather are there across the Wabash Valley. This is the day three outlook. So you can see 7 a.m. Saturday through 7 a.m. on Sunday. The entire Wabash Valley nearly is under a marginal level risk. This is convective available potential energy or storm energy over the next 48 hours. So today, all of that, the high mid to high level ends of the spectrum just stays west of the valley, but it ramps up as we get into about tomorrow early afternoon, early to late afternoon. This is about 2, 3 p.m. So we're kind of on about the mid to high end of the spectrum when it comes to CAPE, the convective available potential energy. That kind of lasts then through much of the day, but then ends up kind of ramping downward on a downward trend as we end closer to Saturday. Get ready for the hot temperatures, though. 88 degrees will be the high for us today. Mostly sunny. It's definitely going to be warmer and humid. 71 is the overnight low tonight. Partly cloudy and warmer. Mainly partly cloudy after midnight, and we could see those showers start to form. Most of those, again, are going to pass northeast of the valley. Nicole, check out the high. 97 tomorrow. Ooh. Our record high was set back in 1994 of 97, so we could possibly be breaking that. All right, or at least meeting it. So that's going to be a warm day. Be prepared for that. Yes. And Summer starts Sunday, more heats on the yes. way for that. Well,